السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی آر نیو سب ٹاپک دیٹ از پیور سبسٹینس اینڈ مکسچرس ان آر پریویس کلاس وی آر اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ میٹر دیٹ میٹر از اینی تھنگ وچ آکیپائی اسپیس اینڈ ہیز ماس بیسڈ آن دی پارٹیکل تھیری we have classified matter as solid liquid and gas but there are other ways to classify matter as well such as pure substance and mixture now what are this pure substance you must be thinking pure substance that means just a purification no in chemistry pure substance is made up of only one type of particles that are identical to one another this pure substance is composed of one type of atom or one type of molecule which has constant chemical composition and characteristic property let's look for an example This is a water molecule. It contains two different element that is hydrogen and oxygen. We all know pure water contains only H2O. This is an another example of hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas contain only one type of atom that is H atom. In both this example we can say that they are having constant chemical composition and their characteristic properties is also constant If I take 100 ml of water in a beaker and if I take 200 ml water in another beaker their chemical property will not change neither their characteristic property will change so that is why we are saying that this substance is having constant chemical compositions and characteristic properties for example this is a pure copper a pure copper is made up of only one type of particle that is copper particle If we slice this copper particle into small small part at the end we will get same size of particles we can say that particles are identical to each other in this copper particle so all the particles in copper will have the same appearance same size and same shape Now this is a pure copper what do you think about what do you think about pure honey as it is re- written on the bottle that it is a pure honey so is it a pure no according to chemistry the word pure means having same element but in honey they are not having same particles in honey it contains mixtures of glucose minerals and water hence it does not have any identical particle so honey cannot be considered as pure substance now same goes for the substance of peanut butter It is not pure. It contains roasted peanuts, salt, sugar, butter. So they are called as mixture. They are not pure. Now what is mixture? So mixture is anything that contains two or more pure substance in it. Up till now 
we have learned about the pure substance and mixture let's learn about pure substance in more detail we all know that material around us is made up of metals non metals and metalloids and commonly they are called as elements each of these element is made up of one kind of particles therefore elements are called pure substances you can take an example of hydrogen helium lithium beryllium and so on they all are one element made up of one kind of particle okay now we know that elements are pure substance but what happens when we mix them to find it out let us consider a case of iron and sulfur both iron and sulfur are elements when we mix them this is what they look like now take the sample of the same element and heat it for about few minutes what will happen is it will become different color this is what we get after heating if we look at our first sample see in the picture then we can find that the particles are not identical but in the second sample all the particles look identical now in the first sample as the particles are not identical so it is possible to separate the particles you must be thinking how so remember we have taken iron and sulfur mixture and iron is attracted by a magnet if we take a magnet close to the sample we can find that sulfur will not stick to the magnet but iron does so in this way we can separate the samples into its component since the particles are not identical to one another we can say that this sample is a mixture correct this is not a pure sample because we know pure sample contains only one type of atom or a molecule but this sample does not contain one type of atom this sample contains two types of atoms that is iron atom and sulfur atom so this is a mixture now can we do the same to the second sample can we separate the mixture so no this time the magnet will not attract to the sample though they are containing iron and sulfur why because we have provided some heat the magnet will not attract to the sample it is impossible to separate sulfur from iron this means here we have an identical particle present in the sample which makes it as pure substance so our second sample is a pure substance do you know what this pure substance is called this pure substance is called as compounds you can see in the structure all the particles are now be behaving as an identical particle because they have been mixed together so a compound is made up of two or more different elements now we have studied two types of pure substance elements and compounds for elements we know which have only one type of atoms and for compounds which have only one type of molecule 
let us study about mixtures what are different types of mixtures now if i add a drop of food color to a water in a glass and stir it can the individual particles be distinguished here can you distinguish the particles in this glass no why because all the particles are uniformly distributed in water now let us take another glass with same amount of water and now we are going to add talcum powder to it what happens when we add talcum powder to the water stir it let it settle for a minute you will find that the particles are deposited at the bottom of the glass that means this particle has physical distinct part we can easily see two layers one at the top that is of water and the other at the bottom that is of talcum powder both the samples are mixtures but they are very different from one another and at this point we can easily conclude that sample 1 mixture has a uniform mixing of particles and therefore it is a uniform composition whereas sample 2 has a non uniform distribution of particle therefore a non uniform composition it is so here we can say that a mixture with which has a uniform composition is called a homogeneous mixture that by which we have added food color to water whereas the mixture that has non uniform composition is called heterogeneous mixture that is our second mixture where we added talcum powder to the water now we are going to add five drops of food color to the same amount of water in another glass when we compare this with the glass containing water which was previously taken we notice that the color of this mixture is more intense from the first one even though both have distributed all the particles so it is possible for a mixture with uniform distribution of particle to have various intensities as i am going to increase more and more food color to the water it will become more intense now we are going to take example of lemon juice what do you think lemon juice is a pure substance or a mixture obviously lemon juice is a mixture because we know pure substance contain only one type of atom or a molecule but lemon juice contain two types of molecule that is water molecule and lemon molecules so it is a mixture what type of mixture is this is it a homogeneous mixture or heterogeneous mixture so lemon juice is a homogeneous mixture because the particles are evenly distributed every sip will give the same taste now we will look for our second example this is a sugar syrup sugar syrup is also a homogeneous mixture because the particles are evenly distributed between water and sugar the another example is egg yolk the egg yolk and white are distinctly separated from one another so this is not a homogeneous mixture this is a heterogeneous mixture we can separate them they are not evenly distributed 
one more example of heterogeneous mixture is water and oil they both are not miscible we cannot evenly distribute water and oil so we can see a layer of oil formed on the water this is how we identify pure substance and mixture so this is your homework you need to identify pure substance and mixture so we have studied that pure substance is a matter which cannot be separated into any other kind of matter when using physical or chemical process all the particles which make up pure substance have the same color same taste same composition and same texture in other word it can be an element or a compound as i have discussed hydrogen and water molecules which consist of only one component with definite composition and for mixture mixture is the combination of two or more substances which are not united using a chemical procedure this components that makes up mixture do not exist in fixed proportion they are not having a fixed proportion that proportion varies and most of this natural substances that you are familiar with are mixture so all the elements which we find in the periodic table are not in the pure form they are found in the earth crust in the mixed form we remove them them from the ground and we purify them okay so examples of mixtures includes water and uh, not your water is not a pure water it is an impure water and we know impure water contains lots of other elements like calcium it contains lead it contains chlorine and many other different elements in it so impure water is a mixture and pure water is a pure substance is it's a pure water and oil is also mixture because it's contain different types of molecules in it dye is also because it gives different different colors it get, it is having different molecules in it so i hope you all have understood about the pure substance and uh, mixture what are pure substance are further divided into elements and compounds and mixtures are further divided into homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixture so learn it if you have any doubt you can message me allah hafiz